Oh, Do you see what I see? Okay, people. So we're back on again. And um, there's been a few different changes for stuff that I've done. Um, one big thing is the amount of tanks. A uh, friend popped over whilst I was on the server and actually grabbed a couple of bits that were close by for me. So we now have a nice high level Dodicarus. I found Lymantry myself that I chased down that was level 100. He brought over a nice level 250 wolf, a Fawny Dragon, and I found the two Terror Birds. So, we're not doing too bad so far. Let's just sort out the raw meat here and restack it. I've literally just logged back on, so we're going to see how everything's doing. And then we're actually going to go for a bit of an explore on my bug, so we know where we're going for. Because as it is, as I'm sure you all saw, my map's not the fullest. In fact, I'm sure I've discovered more of that map than that, and it's not going to let me keep it. Oh, no. Not one of these times. Right, then. Let's go out and see what we can find. Obviously, we've got my wolf and everything there. Which is great. However... We want something that we can get a bit of height on, and so here is our bug. Blah, blah. That's it. I can dust them, and I can't hit them. Okay. We can tell how often I've used one of these bugs then, can't we? Oh, look. There's a bright red parasol there. Which is not going to tell me a level. Ten. Poop. Although somewhere up here as well, there is a really angry rock column that I've already discovered. Um... <clears throat> To give you a quick hint at the stats boosts, as I said, this was, I found it at 100. I think it did actually tame in at 150. And, um, yeah, as you can see, I've bounced weight and stamina and such, and they go up quite fast on the levels that I get on it. Because we've only put eight levels into this thing so far. So, let's keep going for a bit, shall we? See what we can find. Little kitty cat over there, looking all lonely. And it's a low level kitty cat so it can stay all lonely. <clears throat> Apologies for my croaky voice. So let's go up the top here, see what we can see. But yeah, as I did say before, but to be fair, I don't think I said it enough. Um, and I will point it out again. This is all being done on a server provided by Jade Plays Games, which is a YouTuber as well. I say YouTuber, he's got YouTube. Um, Twitch, etc, etc feel free to go and check them out also has a Discord which is a very friendly community um, out of the Discords I have joined I haven't found one before that's been quite as helpful and relaxed so I definitely recommend joining if you're into Ark or any of the such games that he follows but um, yeah as it is we're on that one which is why it's boosted and why there are a few other things that you would have noticed, like for instance the um, aberration bits and all that. Oh look, there's a wolf right here. It's only a level 30, that's no good. Okay, so at the moment though, I'm just trying to fly around, get my bearings, try and remember where what is on the map. And also I could really do with finding myself a bit of crystal so that I can get going with things like that. I've got everything else ready, I think, for the um, fabricator at the moment. i got the oil off of the oil bugs. I've got the spark powder easy enough. And I've got um, metal going away and all that sort of jazz. And if I'm mistaken, that's all metal over there. Is it, or is that flowers? What are my graphics doing? It's flowers. There we go. So no, that's not all metal over there then. Now we know. We have this nice little cave piece here. 
which is just a cave piece so far. Let's quickly. Oh, hang on, look at that. Because I've been offline, then my canteen is actually completely emptied. It's good to know. Now let's put another level into something for him. Um, we're going to have another one in wait for now, because if we're coming out to get some crystal and some metal and that, we might as well be able to carry a decent amount. <coughs> so, so, crystal, crystal, hmm. In case you hadn't guessed, then no, I'm really... Oh! Ho! Ho 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 Do you see what I see? I'll give you a clue, they're not normally on the game. At least not normally on Scorched Earth. Come on then, critters. Where's the boss one? Is that it? Level 10. And four. Oh, level 190. A level 190? That's insane, man. So let's take out some of the rest of these, shall we? So yeah, for those of you who hadn't noticed, there are ravages on our um, Scorched Earth map. Slightly interesting difference, wouldn't you say? But yeah, that's once again because um, the chap that sorts out the server for Jade has actually put on extra dinos, which definitely makes it a bit interesting. I've got to admit, I wasn't expecting to fly into a cave and find ravages. But here they are. So, of course, we're going to tame a Ravager, because who doesn't like a Ravager? But we're going to take out all the weaklings. And we're going to go just for the 190. So, a couple more shots. He's only a level 10. Come on. I have actually started making up track bullets and um, have the long neck as well. Apologies for my phone there, I forgot I haven't put it on silent yet. But I literally gave out just to search for some crystals, so I wasn't expecting to find these guys, so I haven't brought the long neck and the tranks with me. So it looks like we're just going to be using the arrows. Oh, Jesus, that's if... This frickin' level 10 will die. How many second forever? And ever, and ever, and ever, and ever, and ever, and ever. Come on! Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. some arrows into this boy whilst he's not running anywhere once he starts on his skittiness then we will change it over for bowlers of which we have none at the moment right no bowlers I can't see them I'm making them but I can't see them there we go bowlers place that with the gate that I made and here we go come on buddy come on you know you want to be mine it's also plus three, which is quite worrying, because unless I'm mistaken, the rest are dead. Um, aren't they? Are the rest of your friends dead? We haven't got any prime meat with us, though, and we haven't really got any great way to get prime meat. Oh, 
It's just going to be easy. I'm not under any delusions. I know that I have a really crappy weapon on me. Well, he's out. I'm definitely a cave because I'm lagging getting back out of it. Save me! He's there. Uh, we might as well have a quick look if we can find something prime wise down here, might we? Mm hmm. So 44%. Right then. Now, Ravager. I've got a nasty feeling that's a smithy bit. But let's have a look quickly, shall we? Yes. So, and as for Mr. Berg here with his extra level up. Um, let's see. Let's give him more health. Because why not? It'd be nice. Yep, yeah, and look at that. My map's reset again. Oh, no. So, well, I'm guessing it has. I mean, we didn't quite come this way yesterday, but by the fact that it's already shown it off of how far I went up and down the um, riverbed yesterday, then clearly it's not showing everything I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, look, more ravages. Round and round we go. I'm not leading them back to the one that I'm taming because the fact is, once I've actually tamed it, then I've got to leave it there whilst I go and get a saddle and blah blah blah. So we'll probably be joining you back in after that, but for the simple fact of it's not going to be the most enjoyable things to watch me fly back, make a saddle, fly the saddle back here, put it on the Ravager, fly back. Well, after leaving the sleeping bag here, fly back to the base, come back to the Ravager, and fast travel. Well, come back to the Ravager by fast travelling, and then ride it back to the base. So, yeah. Right, let's speak to you in a bit then, people. Alright, and people are back. We've got our Ravager back. We have actually just been gifted an RG, which I'm going to try not use until I've at least caught one, although this is a 257, so I'm sure it's going to be a lot higher than most things I'm going to find. Oh, you know what? Got an RG for me at least. Oh, I just do stop. Right, forget it. We will deal with this all properly in a second. <sighs> Let's sell off them. But yeah, let me show you. We've got our Ravager back. And unfortunately, our Ravager's down here in the water somewhere. So, right, once everything's back where it's meant to be, I will show you the stats on my Ravager. And here we are then, back. Just put down our behemoth gate to give us a little sectioned off area. Still not 100% sure if we're keeping this as the main area for the base, but, you know, we could do with some protection now for the dinosaurs that we do have. And so, here is our Ravager. Stats are at 4,240 health, 2,100 stamina, 6,887 food, 900 weight, 545 melee damage, and 143 movement speed. It's level 291. So we're not doing too bad at all with that. That would be a nice one for getting us running around the map. Just the same as our buddy old pal here would do us quite nicely for running around the map. Now, one thing I want to check, I'm sure it wouldn't have happened, but wouldn't it have been cool if they'd messed up and you could actually still breed Ravagers and Direwolves together? Because of course the Ravager is based on the Direwolf skin, um, or the design the creature or whatever, hence 
why they look so alike, which was why I actually took that one over there, just to compare them, because normally you wouldn't get both of them on the same map. So then, let's put him there. Apologies for my phone again. I will remember next time to turn it off. There we go. Ravager and Wolf. Ah, to be fair, if, if they are based on the same skin, then they've still changed them quite a lot. So, you know, I don't think anyone can really blame them for that. It's not like it is just the wolf with no hair or something stupid like that. So, yeah. But there we go. We've managed to get ourselves a couple of bits there. We've got the gate down to keep it all secure. So I think from here we can actually start to go out exploring things. I know we have the RG that PGP's just dropped off for us, which is a big thank you. Same as I said, to be fair, it was a big thank you that Crazy Bear brought me over the Dire Wolf. I found the two Terror Birds whilst we're waiting for this Dodicarus to heal up that you found as well. And he brought me the Fawny Dragon. So. I mean, as it was, he carried them. We knocked them out and such. You know, it wasn't just a quick swap tame thing. But realistically, it wasn't any more difficult when you can have someone helping you like that. So the Dodicarus here, we're going to put another couple into weight. Yeah, sorry, into melee damage. But yeah, so far, we're not doing that bad, apart from falling off. However, falling off is no longer a problem, for we have... Ha! <laughs> See, why couldn't they bring these out on every map anyway? I mean, they're just so cool. Right, anyway, yes. So, we're here. We've got all these bits up. More importantly now, we have the crystal we needed to make the fabricator, I do believe. Although I can't now see the fabricator. Can't. I'm not sure that's correct English. Right, just a few metal ingots, which... We're burning away nicely in here for me. Yes, they are right there. Thank you. Put the ingots in, make the fabricator, and then we will join you back once we're actually doing something more. There we go. Second day. There's our long neck. See, we do have one. We did make one. Long neck, track bullets, fabricator. Happy days. Right, people. I will catch you back once we get a bit more going again sandstorm so we won't be going anywhere for a bit um, another confession I did actually make an RG trap and tame two one to test it and then one which was a high level it was a 280 came out at 417 um, and now it's up at 471 unfortunately that bit of video I haven't got a clue what happened to it I really don't um, it just doesn't exist apparently so that was a bit annoying but We'll be going back over there in a second anyway, because I'll be showing you where it is. In fact, here is our 471, right here. We can quickly show you the um, stats on him, at least. Now, obviously, he's really quite full at the moment, because um, we went bumping the levels up, obviously. But he's 11,462 health, 5,040 melee damage. 3,197 weight. So basically he is our tank. Apart from that, we've got a few bits that you can see there in my inventory. We managed to get a rocket launcher and one homing rocket, which could be interesting for something. I'm not sure what yet, but never know. Rainy day. We got um, a graded flamethrower. We got some graded helmets. We got a Quetzal platform, which sadly isn't any use to us. Uh, unless I'm mistaken, they don't actually spawn on Scorched Earth, but I might be wrong there. It has been a long time since I've played it. There we go. Put some meat in there for everything. We've got a Lamantria saddle though, which we can use. A Yuandon, I'm sure we'll find one of them. Manta, not really. Ankleo, yep. Calamar, uh, Castroid, clearly not. Um, Quetzal, yep. Do oh, bees are buff. Oh, I thought it was Dodicarus, at least that would have been something. There we go, 180 damage flame for our Master Crafted. We also got a Master Crafted Fawny Dragon Saddle, which we've already put on it. And I believe something else. Here's our little Ravager. 
who at the moment has gone up to 292, he's got another three levels. So we're going to give him straight into the damage there, we're going to get him up to at least a thousand. And anyway, I will join you back once we've got back to the place that I'm going to put the base now. Because at the moment, we're back to a blank map again, which is really quite heartbreaking. So if I go over here and click fast travel, then where that sleeping bag is, is where we're heading. So basically 30, 58, let's say about that. So I'll join you back once we're there, people. So it seems we have a rather opportune way of showing you how we caught our RG, but with a slight twist. Now, when we did this, we used Lymantria and we actually flew into the trap that we've made and flew out the other side again. So I'll just give him a free hit now and then just to keep him interested. Um, but obviously where we've got an Argentavis this time, we won't be flying in and back out again. We'll be flying in and letting the Argentavis tank the hits because at 11,000 health, it's going to take a long time for him to be in danger if this wild RG is only doing 83 damage a time. 38 damage per time. Yeah, I think that it's going to be fine. So anyway, it's up to the top of this rock here. I want something nice and high, you know, somewhere prominent that you can get all the RGs to. Nothing else is going to be in the way to attack it. And something with a nice clear run to get to it. So, here we go. We just got to keep going a bit. Give them a nice little chance to get a tap on us. There you go. Yep, there we go. He's going to keep coming. Oh, seems I didn't put the phone on silent. So there we go. Good to know. Right. And we're nearly there. Unfortunately, we haven't opened the gates. So we're going to go up first and open the gate. And come down here. Go that side. Go this side. We've got both Argentavis in here. However, we want to wait a little bit because that one's really quite bloody at the moment. So. Let's give it some time, shall we? And see how it heals up. Mm -hmm. Now, I do apologise that I mistamed the first one. But it was literally, like I said, we flew in here, having it follow us with Lymantria. We brought the Lymantria out of that. Obviously, that time we didn't have this gate open. And, um, yeah. Once it was in here, of course, we didn't really have a problem. Now, that didn't actually seem to register hitting him. Her. This is why we're going for this one, because it's a her. Uh, not really keen on shooting it yet, because it's still got holes in its wings. But, you know, what else can I do? It's already attacking my RG. And... Although my RG has got a lot of health, even a lot of health will eventually run out. Now, it seems to have stopped. Can we do it without killing it? It's going to be close, I think. It's going to be real close. Apparently not that close yet. It was fooling us. Wasn't actually ready to give up yet. Okay, come on. Maybe that means you got a bit more left in you than I thought you did. Let me just check quickly. Obviously the perfect time to do it whilst we're in the middle of a battle. But we want a good quality picture. There we go. We got it. We actually got it, a level 240 female. So, now all we have to do is take this one out and go and get some prime meat for it, which can be this RG right here. It's a 150, but you know what? That'll do. 
as far as I'm concerned. And let's just see how much damage. Did you see that? 1,260 this Argy does at the moment. I mean, this guy is going to pretty much... Oops, I did forget that we had all the junk on us. Please say we picked up some prime meat. Yes, we did. Right then. Well, back up with this prime meat to tame the Argy. And, um, yeah, we'll join you back once he's tamed. She's tamed. Just for the record, quickly, whilst I'm putting the meat in, I did worry about the fact of what um, damage I was doing to this Argy. And, thankfully, it still seems to have 499.8 um, health. So, it was close out of the 3,796 it had. But it still had a good four shots left before it would have killed it with the trank gun. So yippee. Anyway, I'll join you back once it's tamed. Which, judging by that, if this goes right, come out at 3.59. So maybe 3.58, 3.57. I guess time will tell. See you then, people. Whilst we're on here as well, waiting for the RG to tame up. I will show you the other little addition we've got, which is this nice little thatch hut, which is a pain in the backside to get into. Which, of course, never helps. So we're going to see if we can make a ramp, which we haven't got the bits on us to make a ramp. So instead, we're going to do this little cheat. I'm going to make one more thatch foundation. And we're going to place that right there. And there we go, we're in. And all this is is just something to keep us a little bit... Um, better protected from the weather let's say so we're in here whilst waiting might as well cook ourselves up some meat because I've got none on me and you've got far too much on you so one two and a bit thank you but yeah the reason we're back here as well isn't just to tame up this RG that was just sheer luck that as I came past I found it the reason we're over here is because this is the new base location I've found over here. So, once this RG's tamed, we shall take you down and show you. And there's the meat cooking. It's the RG taming. So now, it's nothing but the waiting game. And I'll join you back once that's a little bit less. It shouldn't be too long. I mean, it's already at 46.2. Still got much prime meat and much time. So, see you in a bit, people. Back on, waiting for that last bit of food. One thing I will be doing with this, when I get the time, is actually extending this out. I can do one ceiling at the moment and one more. Now, I know I'm only making this in thatch, so it wouldn't stand up to a battering from an RG or anything. So, but the idea is, sorry, I do apologise now, I was getting distracted thinking about things. Um, <clears throat> the idea is that we're going to put another ceiling here because if you actually try to come in this way to close the gates and the RG hits you, it can knock you off of there, which doesn't seem to kill me, thankfully. But, you know, it's a pain in the backside going down there, especially if you can't reach your flyer because you're pretty much stuck down there then. And your only other choice is to kill yourself. Thankfully, I haven't had that yet. I've always managed to get the flyer to follow me. But, it can be a pain. And saying which, now we'll whistle you back to neutral. And you really can't be far off of needing to wake up. Or not needing to wake up, but actually waking up. Having your last feed. Being happy. Being our female Argentavis. It will come out at basically 3.59 apparently still. Even 3.58 would be good. There you go. Hi, baby. What's your stats? 5,329 health, 832 weight, 467, 66 melee damage. All right, so, not the fanciest in the world, but we shall soon pep that up for you, don't you worry. All right then. So, let's just get you out here for one second. We'll leave you there, all stop. And we'll get you out. And then we can have a look at the both of you together. How does that sound, eh? Oh, if I don't fall down the rock. And also, 
so that someone else doesn't get stuck with what I did. We'll open that gate and we'll close that gate. There we go. So there are our two Argentavis. 359 female and a 471 male. These two are going to breed some super babies for me. And whilst we're here, we're going to leave that one there for a second. I'm going to come down here. First thing is we are going to boost the weight because we want it to be more than our weight. It's that simple. So we come over here, I do believe, and we will find our location. So I'll bring you back as soon as I remember where it is. See you then, people. And so here we are. This is a location that I've actually chosen. It's not too far from the obelisks. We've got one obelisk, if we can fly up high enough. There's literally just over there. So let's just walk around the edge of the desert here. And the other obelisk is over there. And if we look, that tall mountain, I do believe, roughly where we have the head of our RG at the moment, is where the trap is and our other Argentavis. And what I want is just this one little area here. So I think we're going to come down. We will probably use this as one part to cover off with an adobe uh, behemoth gate. Around about here, I do believe. And then we'll probably have this rock included in it, the good old Lion King rock. And then I think we're going to have another adobe gate over here somewhere. Maybe around this bit, just where it starts to drop. We knock these rocks out. And something to cover off this, perhaps, if we get time. A nice little um, octagonal uh, tower. But we'll see. And then we're going to have this piece here. And we'll probably have something just a section off here to stop stuff coming in. So then we can have our pipes running down and everything. So yeah, here it is then. I've shown you the location. I'm going to actually put down some foundations and such and get started on something. And I will join you back once we've actually got some sort of sense out of it. Speak to you then, people. And so we're back with our little temporary hidey hole here up on the side of the cliffs. We've got our other RG back with us now. And down here we have just put out little markers of how far we're going. So we put this little part of a building there to symbol where we're going to put a ward off there. We've actually put a sign here that says future location of the falls. And we've got in these going much, much. Okay. Apparently all of these need more thatch. Interesting to know. But we've got um, <clears throat> play going up there. And then if we come over to this side, we have a line of thatch foundations there just to give a hint where we're getting to on there. So, it's not a great amount yet. But to be honest, it is getting late in the day for me. For me. For me. Something like that. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah. It's getting late in the day for me, so I don't really want to be doing too much tonight. I just want an area marked out that is what I shall be using. And that's what we've done. We've also got our female RG now, and she's up to 411. The male's at 471, so between them, they should make a good breeding pair. The only thing we've got left to do with this is pretty much... Come on. See if we want to find any higher ones or not, or whether we just want to use the two we've got. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to let you all go here. I may add a bit more on in the morning, or we may call it the end of the episode there. To be honest now, I said that will probably add a bit more on, just the simple fact of we've got to do our nice goodbyes and all. Uh -huh. Right, chat to you later, people. How rude. Ruining my house, I mean, really. How rude. Right. As we were saying. Catch you in a bit, people. Bye-bye. Hey, then. So, we've got our base location. We've actually been quite busy getting stuff repaired for the actual grind. Um, 
I went through and I actually figured out where to put these walls and everything so they were all nice and aligned. I've actually leveled them up so each time it's raising up just the one ceiling, um, the one wall. So hopefully it should keep it all a basic shape. We've got a little bit coming out the front here which we'll probably build a tower onto or something maybe. Got a little house up there. We've got Morello tops over there that I literally just got which is a 149. Got the one that we've been using which is a 61. Ankle I just found whilst I was on the way to get some metal. Uh, we've got our Dodicarus which we brought over with us. We've got this gate here which we've partly converted this bit to um, a dove and the walls on, on the floors on this side. So we will carry on with that once we can get a bit more grinding done. At the moment we're actually aiming to get the chemistry bench up. There is a community one which Crazy Bears provided for everyone but to be honest I'm lazy I'd rather have something close by that I can literally just chuck all my stuff in from here each time I'm harvesting it rather than flying back the five minutes or so ten minutes maybe to where the community area is plus the weight of carrying the stuff and blah 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 <clears throat> apart from that we have our taming pad up here which we actually have a female 260 dodicarus in that I had to grab because the other one which we tamed up and everything is still only a 254 now so even if this lost four levels off of its um, actual levels which is impossible then it would still be the same level as the one down there so at the end of the day if we gain any levels or even if we don't gain levels this is going to be higher so we're having it as it is sadly the one down there is female as well though as we've had little baby dodicaruses which have been so pretty we have tried to tame it once but it just curled up in the ball and then it was having none of it so we've come back up again now once we've given it a chance to wake up and heal up a bit it doesn't seem to want to attack us last time it did so maybe it really is already low on its torpor that would be lovely but yeah <clears throat> we're just going to knock this out and then I shall show you what we're doing down the bottom well that was bloody lucky time <clears throat> right so yeah as I said ignore those patch bits there that was where I first marked out when I got here so that people knew the rough area I was having. So we've got Behemoth Gate here. So then come round, we'll have a little tower or something there. We've got this whole area. We're going to put some fencing across the front here to stop anything falling off. Maybe a little bit of fencing around there. Although if we want, technically, we could go fishing because there are a few fish in there somewhere. So you can, you can just about see a couple there. Not like this, you can't. But yeah, there are honestly a couple. Anyway, but <clears throat> mostly I like the waterfall coming down here, so that's going to kind of be the centerpiece of the base. I think maybe over here somewhere we're going to have a garden, get our fruit and all that going. Here we're going to have, this looks like an extended tower that's going to be clipped to the side of the Lion King rock here. And on this side we're going to have a slight wedge shaped tower just to fill it in and make it look more interesting. Whether or not we're going to use that, it's another matter. But you know, part of it's about the look as much as practicality of it. Practicality, practicability. I don't know. It's late. I'm tired. But yeah, here of course is our Lion King rock, as I said. And there is the base. So that's how far we've got. Now at the moment, we've basically got all the bits to make up this chemistry bench. So I do believe we're going to leave this one here and we will join you back for the next episode at which stage we will be hopefully making a big dent on building all this because we're going to have to be, have thousands and thousands of clay to get all of this done <clears throat> right chat to you in a bit then people bye bye